Aaron's fingers flew across the control panel, his eyes darting between the flashing warning lights and the rapidly deteriorating tactical display. Beside him, Dr. Pimmerman's face was etched with a mix of fear and determination as they fought to keep their research facilities' defenses operational. The Thorian forces are breaching the outer perimeter, Pimmerman shouted, his voice barely audible over the blaring alarms. We need to get the Prometheus prototype to safety, now. Aaron cursed under his breath. He had known this day would come, when the secret of Thorian Dominion would stop at nothing to get their hands on the groundbreaking technology they had been developing. But he never imagined it would happen so soon, and with such ferocity. With a few hurried keystrokes, Aaron rerouted as much power as he could to the facility's shields, hoping to buy them some precious time. As the Thorian assault ships bore down on them, he felt a surge of adrenaline coursing through his veins. This was no longer just a scientific endeavor, it was a fight for survival. Pimmerman, get the prototype and head to the emergency extraction point, Aaron commanded, his voice steady despite the chaos unfolding around them. I'll try to hold them off as long as I can. The older scientist hesitated for a moment, his eyes searching Aaron's face. But what about you? Aaron offered a grim smile. I'll be right behind you. Now go. Pimmerman nodded, clutching the Prometheus prototype close to his chest as he dashed out of the control room. Aaron turned his attention back to the screens, his fingers flying across the controls as he initiated a series of defensive countermeasures. The facility's shields flickered and groaned under the onslaught of Thorian weapons fire, but they held firm. Suddenly, a brilliant flash of light illuminated the control room and Aaron felt a strange sensation wash over him. It was as if the very fabric of reality had shifted, the boundaries between the physical and the metaphysical blurring before his eyes. He gasped, his senses heightening as he became acutely aware of the energy signatures surrounding him. In that instant, Aaron realized that the Prometheus prototype had somehow unlocked a dormant potential within him, a connection to the fundamental forces that governed the universe. With a newfound clarity, he could see the intricate dance of energy that powered the facility's defenses, and with a few precise manipulations, he was able to amplify their effectiveness, pushing back the Thorian assault. But the respite was short-lived. Aaron watched in horror as the Thorian forces shifted their tactics, focusing their firepower on the facility's power grid. The shields began to falter, and Aaron knew they were running out of time. Pimmerman, come in, he shouted into his communicator. The shields are failing. You need to get out of here, now. There was a crackle of static, followed by the scientist's voice, laced with urgency. I'm almost at the extraction point, but the Thorians have sent a detachment to intercept me. I don't know if I can make it. Aaron's mind raced, the newfound psionic abilities coursing through him, offering a glimpse of the possibilities that lay before him. Without hesitation, he reached out with his mind, focusing on the energy signatures of the Thorian forces. With a surge of concentration, he lashed out, disrupting their targeting systems and momentarily diverting their attention. Pimmerman, go! I'll hold them off as long as I can, Aaron shouted, his voice tinged with the strain of his efforts. The scientist's reply was drowned out by the screeching of alarms as the facility's defenses finally succumbed to the Thorian assault. Aaron steeled himself, ready to face whatever came next. He had to buy Pimmerman enough time to escape with the Prometheus prototype, no matter the cost. As the Thorian troops swarmed into the control room, Aaron raised his hands, his eyes burning with a newfound determination. He was no longer just a scientist, he was a guardian, a protector of the Prometheus technology, and he would do whatever it took to keep it out of the Thorian Dominion's hands. The emergency extraction pod rocketed away from the doomed research facility leaving Aaron to face the advancing Thorian forces alone. Pimmerman gripped the Prometheus prototype tightly, his knuckles turning white as he watched the facility disappear into the distance. Come in, Aaron, do you copy? He shouted into the communicator, but only Static answered. Pimmerman's heart sank, fearing the worst for his young colleague. As the pod hurtled through the void of space, Pimmerman's mind raced. He knew the Thorians had been after the Prometheus technology for years but he never imagined they would launch such a bold and ruthless assault. And now, with Aaron left behind, the fate of the project rested squarely on his shoulders. The pod's computer beeped, 
and Pimmerman's eyes widened as he saw the blips on the sensor array, the Thorian ships were in pursuit. He quickly ran a systems check, praying that the pod's engines and shielding would hold up under the impending attack. Hang on, Aaron, Pimmerman whispered, his voice tinged with worry. I'll get this prototype to safety, no matter what. As the pod dropped out of faster-than-light travel, Pimmerman caught a glimpse of a distant planet, its surface a patchwork of lush forests and rugged terrain. Without hesitation, he plotted a course for the planet, hoping to find refuge and a way to contact the human colonies for help. The pod shuddered as the Thorian ships opened fire, their weapons pounding against the aging shielding. Pimmerman gritted his teeth, guiding the pod through a series of evasive maneuvers, but he knew they couldn't outrun the pursuing ships for long. Come on, come on, he muttered, as the pod's systems strained under the relentless assault. Just as the shields were about to fail, the pod broke through the planet's atmosphere, hurtling towards the surface. Pimmerman braced himself for a rough landing, and the pod crashed through the forest canopy, skidding to a halt in a small clearing. He quickly checked the Prometheus prototype, relieved to find it intact, and then turned his attention to the communicator. Mayday, Mayday. This is Dr. Pimmerman of the Prometheus research team. We are under attack by the Thorian Dominion and have crash-landed on an uncharted planet. Please, we need immediate extraction and assistance. Static crackled in response, and Pimmerman's heart sank. He was alone, stranded on a remote world, with the fate of the Prometheus project hanging in the balance. Just as he was about to give up hope, a figure emerged from the surrounding foliage, cautiously approaching the pod. Pimmerman tensed, ready to defend the prototype, but as the figure drew closer, he recognized the familiar features of Aaron, his clothes tattered and his face streaked with soot. Aaron, Pimmerman exclaimed, relief flooding his voice. You're alive? Aaron nodded, his eyes burning with a new intensity. I am, but the Thorians have taken control of the facility. We need to get the Prometheus prototype to safety, and quickly. Pimmerman quickly filled Aaron in on the situation, and the young scientist's brow furrowed in deep thought. The Thorians aren't just after the Prometheus technology, Aaron said, his voice grave. They want to use it to enslave the human colonies. We have to stop them, no matter the cost. Pimmerman's eyes widened, the gravity of the situation sinking in. But how? We're stranded on this planet, with no way to call for help. The Thorians will be hunting us down relentlessly. Aaron's gaze hardened, and Pimmerman saw a spark of determination in his eyes. We'll have to use the Prometheus technology itself to even the odds. I'll need your help, Pimmerman. Together, we can turn the tide against the Thorian Dominion and protect the human colonies. Pimmerman hesitated, the weight of the decision heavy on his shoulders. But as he looked into Aaron's eyes, he saw a resolve that was unshakable. With a nod, he gripped the Prometheus prototype tightly, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Then let's get to work, he said, his voice filled with newfound purpose. We have a galaxy to save. Aaron and Pimmerman huddled over the Prometheus prototype, their fingers flying across the intricate controls as they assessed the damage and formulated a plan of action. The distant rumble of the Thorian ships grew ever closer, a constant reminder of the peril they faced. The core systems are still functional, but the power output is severely limited, Aaron muttered, his brow furrowed in concentration. We'll need to find a way to boost the energy reserves if we're going to have any chance against the Thorian forces. Pimmerman nodded, his mind racing. What about the environment around us? Surely we can scavenge some materials to enhance the prototype's capabilities. Aaron's eyes lit up with a spark of inspiration. Of course. This planet's atmosphere is rich in a rare energy conducting mineral. If we can locate a sufficient deposit, we might be able to rig up a makeshift power generator. The two scientists sprang into action, scouring the surrounding forest for any sign of the valuable mineral. Time was of the essence, as the Thorian ships were rapidly closing in on their position. After what felt like an eternity of frantic searching, Aaron's face broke into a triumphant grin. I've found it. This should give us the boost we need. With a renewed sense of purpose, Aaron and Pimmerman set to work, using their ingenuity and the limited tools at their disposal to cobble together a rudimentary power generator. The din of the approaching Thorian ships grew louder, 
the ground trembling with the force of their weapons. Hurry, Aaron, Pimmerman shouted, his eyes darting between the prototype and the rapidly approaching enemy ships. Aaron's fingers moved with a blur of precision, his psionic abilities guiding his every action. The power generator hummed to life, its energy signature pulsing in sync with Aaron's heartbeat. Done, he cried, quickly reconnecting the Prometheus prototype to the makeshift power source. Now let's see what this baby can do. Aaron's hands glided over the controls, his mind reaching out to the very fabric of reality. As the Thorian ships opened fire, the Prometheus prototype flared to life, its energy shields deflecting the enemy's barrage with ease. Pimmerman watched in awe as Aaron continued to manipulate the prototype systems, redirecting power to various defensive and offensive capabilities. The Thorian ships, caught off guard by the unexpected resistance, began to falter, their formations breaking apart as they struggled to counter the Prometheus prototype's onslaught. Incredible, Pimmerman breathed, his eyes wide with wonder. You've unlocked the true potential of this technology. Aaron's face was etched with concentration, his body almost vibrating with the strain of maintaining such fine control over the prototype systems. We can't let our guard down yet, he warned. The Thorians will adapt, and we need to be ready. As if in response to his words, the Thorian ships regrouped, launching a coordinated assault that battered the Prometheus prototype's shields. Aaron gritted his teeth, his hands flying across the controls as he fought to keep the prototype's defenses intact. Suddenly, a massive explosion rocked the clearing, and Aaron felt a searing pain in his side. He staggered, his concentration momentarily broken, and the Prometheus prototype's shields flickered and faltered. Aaron, Pimmerman cried, rushing to his colleague's aid. You're hurt. Aaron winced, his hand clutching the smoldering wound. I'm fine, he grunted, but the Thorians are closing in. We need to get this prototype to a more defensible position, and fast. Pimmerman nodded, his face etched with worry. With a newfound determination, the two scientists gathered the Prometheus prototype and set off into the dense forest, the sound of the Thorian ships in hot pursuit. Aaron and Pimmerman pushed through the thick underbrush, the Prometheus prototype cradled between them. The distant rumble of the Thorian ships grew ever louder, a constant reminder of the danger they faced. We need to find a more defensible position, Aaron grunted wincing as the movement aggravated his injury. Those ships will be on us any moment. Pimmerman nodded, his brow furrowed in concern. There's an old research facility up ahead, according to the satellite maps. It might provide us with the shelter and resources we need. Aaron's eyes narrowed, his mind racing. Then that's where we're headed. We need to get the Prometheus prototype to safety and figure out our next move. With renewed urgency, the two scientists pressed on, the weight of the prototype straining their muscles. As they approached the facility, Aaron could feel the psionic energies radiating from the structure, a testament to the advanced technology housed within. There it is, Pimmerman breathed, his voice tinged with relief. Quickly, let's get inside. They rushed through the facility's entrance, the massive doors sealing shut behind them. Aaron immediately set to work his nimble fingers flying across the control panels as he assessed the facility's defenses. The shields are still active, but the power reserves are dangerously low, he murmured, brow furrowed in concentration. We'll need to find a way to boost the energy output if we want to hold off the Thorian forces. Pimmerman nodded, already searching the facility for any useful equipment or resources. I'll see what I can find. In the meantime, keep an eye on the Prometheus prototype. We can't afford to let the Thorians get their hands on it. Aaron's gaze hardened, his mind filled with a renewed sense of purpose. Don't worry, Pimmerman. I won't let them take it, no matter what. As Pimmerman disappeared deeper into the facility, Aaron turned his attention to the Prometheus prototype, his fingers tracing the intricate patterns etched into its surface. He could feel the psionic energies pulsing within, a testament to the power that lay hidden within its core. Suddenly. A series of warning lights flashed across the control panels, and Aaron's heart sank. The Thorian ships had located them, and they were closing in fast. Pimmerman, get back here, Aaron shouted, his voice echoing through the empty halls. The Thorians have found us. 
Pimmerman's response was drowned out by the sound of the facility's shields being bombarded by the Thorian assault. Aaron gritted his teeth, his mind racing as he tried to redirect power to the defenses. As the shields began to buckle under the relentless barrage, Aaron's gaze fell upon the Prometheus prototype. A sudden realization dawned on him, and he knew what he had to do. Forgive me, Pimmerman, he murmured, his fingers flying across the controls. But I have to do this. With a surge of psionic energy, Aaron linked the Prometheus prototype directly to the facility's systems, channeling its power into a devastating counter-strike. The Thorian ships, caught off guard by the unexpected onslaught, were thrown into disarray, their formations breaking apart as they struggled to defend against the onslaught. Pimmerman emerged from the depths of the facility, his eyes widening in shock as he witnessed the scene unfolding before him. Aaron, what have you done? He cried, rushing to his colleague's side. Aaron turned to Pimmerman, his face etched with a mixture of determination and regret. I had to do it, Pimmerman. The Thorians can't be allowed to get their hands on this technology. We have to protect the human colonies at all costs. Pimmerman opened his mouth to protest, but the sudden tremor that shook the facility silenced him. The Thorian ships, battered and broken, were regrouping, their weapons powering up for a devastating final assault. Aaron's gaze hardened, his psionic abilities surging to the forefront. Go, Pimmerman. Get the Prometheus prototype to safety. I'll hold them off as long as I can. Pimmerman's eyes widened, his heart torn between his desire to help his friend and the need to protect the precious technology. With a heavy heart, he nodded, grabbing the Prometheus prototype and dashing towards the facility's emergency exit. As the sounds of the Thorian attack echoed through the halls, Aaron took a deep breath, his mind focused on the task at hand. He knew what he had to do, and he was ready to face whatever consequences awaited him. Pimmerman's heart pounded in his chest as he sprinted through the facility's dimly lit corridors, the Prometheus prototype clutched tightly in his arms. The distant rumble of the Thorian assault reverberated through the walls, a constant reminder of the danger they faced. Hang on, Aaron, Pimmerman muttered under his breath, his eyes darting around as he searched for the emergency exit. I won't let your sacrifice be in vain. As he rounded a corner, Pimmerman caught sight of the glowing exit sign and doubled his pace, his lungs burning with a strain. The heavy doors parted with a hiss, and Pimmerman burst out into the harsh, alien landscape, his eyes squinting against the glare of the twin suns. Now, where to? he murmured, his gaze sweeping across the rugged terrain. In the distance, he could see the faint outline of a settlement, its buildings glimmering in the sunlight. With a renewed sense of purpose, Pimmerman set off towards the colony, the Prometheus prototype cradled protectively against his chest. As he ran, his mind raced, trying to piece together a plan to reach the safety of the colony and, more importantly, to find a way to get the precious technology to the human authorities. The journey was arduous, and Pimmerman's legs felt like lead by the time he finally reached the colony's outer perimeter. He staggered to a halt, his lungs heaving, and scanned the area for any signs of life. Hello? he called out, his voice hoarse. Is anyone there? I need help. For a moment, there was only silence, and Pimmerman's heart sank. But then, a flicker of movement caught his eye, and a group of armed colonists emerged from behind a fortified barricade. Hold it right there, one of the colonists shouted, his weapon trained on Pimmerman. State your business. Pimmerman raised his hands in a gesture of surrender, his grip tightening on the Prometheus prototype. Please, I'm a scientist from the Prometheus research team. The Thorian Dominion has attacked our facility, and I need to get this technology to safety. The colonists exchanged uncertain glances, their weapons still trained on Pimmerman. But then, a familiar face emerged from the crowd, and Pimmerman's eyes widened in recognition. Pimmerman? The man exclaimed, his voice filled with disbelief. What in the name of the progenitors are you doing here? Colonel Weston, Pimmerman exclaimed, relief flooding his features. Thank the stars, I've found you. The Thorians are after the Prometheus prototype, and we need your help to get it to the human authorities. Weston's brow furrowed as he listened to Pimmerman's frantic tale, his gaze fixed on the precious cargo in the scientist's arms. This is grave news indeed, he murmured, his hand resting on the hilt of his sidearm. 
The Thorians have been probing our defenses for weeks, and now this. We'll need to act quickly. He turned to his men, his voice crisp and authoritative. Sound the alarm, gather the militia, and prepare the colony's defenses. We have a Thorian assault to repel. As the colonists sprang into action, Weston led Pimmerman into the heart of the settlement, his expression grim. Tell me everything you know about the Prometheus prototype and the Thorian's plans, he said, his eyes narrowing. We'll need to be fully prepared for what's to come. Pimmerman recounted the harrowing events at the research facility, his voice laced with a mixture of fear and determination. Aaron sacrificed himself to buy me time, he said, his eyes downcast. I have to get this technology to the human colonies, to stop the Thorians from using it for their own nefarious purposes. Weston nodded, his jaw set with resolve. Then that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll hold off the Thorians as long as we can, and then get you and the prototype off this planet. The fate of the galaxy may rest on your shoulders, Pimmerman. The sound of distant explosions rocked the colony, and Weston's expression hardened. They're here. Time to show these Thorian scum what the human spirit is made of. As the colonists manned their defensive positions, Pimmerman clutched the Prometheus prototype tightly, his mind racing with the weight of the responsibility before him. He knew that the fate of the human colonies hung in the balance, and he was determined to see Aaron's sacrifice through to the end. The colony's defenses erupted in a blaze of fire and energy as the Thorian assault ships bore down on the settlement. Pimmerman watched from a secure bunker, the Prometheus prototype cradled in his arms, as Colonel Weston and the militia fought to repel the invaders. The air shook with the deafening roar of weapons fire, and Pimmerman could see the strain on the faces of the colonists as they struggled to hold their ground. But even in the midst of the chaos, he could sense a deep-seated determination, a refusal to surrender in the face of such overwhelming odds. They're targeting the shield generators, one of the militia officers shouted, his voice barely audible over the din of the battle. If we lose those, the colony won't stand a chance. Weston's expression hardened, and he barked out a series of orders, his men springing into action to reinforce the critical systems. Pimmerman watched with bated breath, his grip tightening on the Prometheus prototype as he silently willed the colonists to hold their positions. Suddenly, a massive explosion rocked the bunker, and Pimmerman felt the floor lurch beneath his feet. He clutched the prototype to his chest, his heart pounding with fear, as he waited for the dust to settle. When the air finally cleared, Pimmerman was relieved to find the bunker still intact, though the sounds of the battle outside were growing increasingly desperate. He knew he couldn't remain hidden forever, not with the Thorians' intent on capturing the Prometheus technology at all costs. With a deep breath, Pimmerman stepped out of the bunker, his eyes sweeping across the devastated landscape. He could see the colonists fighting with everything they had, but the Thorian forces seemed to be gaining the upper hand. Colonel Weston, Pimmerman called out, his voice carrying over the din of the battle. I need to get this prototype to the human colonies to warn them of the Thorian's plans. Can you provide me with a way off this planet? Weston's gaze met Pimmerman's, his eyes filled with a mix of determination and regret. I'm afraid that's not possible, my friend, he replied, his voice strained. The Thorians have us pinned down and our communications are being jammed. We're cut off from the rest of the galaxy. Pimmerman's heart sank, the weight of the realization crashing down on him. Then what do we do? he asked, his voice tinged with desperation. The fate of the human colonies rests on the Prometheus prototype. We can't let the Thorians get their hands on it. Weston's jaw tightened, and Pimmerman could see the gears turning in the colonel's mind. There may be a way, he said, his voice low and urgent. But it's a dangerous gamble, and I can't guarantee your safety. Pimmerman's eyes narrowed, his resolve hardening. I don't care about my safety, Colonel. I have to try. The Thorians must be stopped, no matter the cost. Weston nodded, his expression grim. Very well. Follow me, and keep that prototype safe at all costs. The two men ducked back into the bunker, navigating a maze of corridors and hidden passages until they reached a small, nondescript hatch in the floor. Weston pulled it open, revealing a cramped, dimly lit shaft. This leads to an old communications relay station, Weston explained, his voice barely above a whisper. 
If we can get you and the prototype there, you might be able to send a distress signal to the human colonies. Pimmerman peered into the shaft, his brow furrowed with concern. And what about you and the rest of the colonists? Weston's gaze hardened, his expression resolute. We'll hold the Thorians off for as long as we can. Our duty is to protect the people of this colony, no matter the cost. Pimmerman felt a lump in his throat, the weight of the sacrifice these colonists were willing to make pressing down on him. I won't forget this, Colonel, he said, his voice thick with emotion. I'll make sure the human colonies know what you've done here. Weston nodded, a hint of a smile tugging at the corners of his mouth. Then get going, Pimmerman. Time is of the essence. With a deep breath, Pimmerman clutched the Prometheus prototype tightly and descended into the darkness of the shaft, the sounds of the ongoing battle fading into the distance behind him. He knew that the fate of the human colonies now rested squarely on his shoulders, and he was determined to succeed, no matter the cost. Pimmerman's muscles ached as he crawled through the cramped, dusty shaft, the Prometheus prototype clutched tightly against his chest. Behind him, the faint sounds of the ongoing battle between the colonists and the Thorian forces echoed through the darkness, a constant reminder of the peril they faced. As he reached a fork in the tunnel, Pimmerman paused, his heart pounding in his ears. He had to find the communications relay station quickly, but the thought of leaving the colonists to their fate weighed heavily on his mind. Aaron, Weston, I promise I won't let your sacrifice be in vain, he whispered, his voice thick with determination. With a renewed sense of purpose, Pimmerman pressed on, his pace quickening as the promise of the communications relay station drew closer. Finally, he reached a hatch and, with a great deal of effort, pushed it open, emerging into a cramped, dimly lit room. Pimmerman's eyes swept across the room, taking in the array of outdated equipment and the flashing lights of the communication console. Without hesitation, he hurried to the console, his fingers flying across the controls as he tried to establish a connection. Come on, come on, he muttered, his brow furrowed in concentration. There has to be a way to get this signal out. Suddenly, a thunderous explosion rocked the room, and Pimmerman felt the floor tremble beneath his feet. He clutched the Prometheus prototype tightly, his eyes wide with fear as he realized that the Thorian forces had breached the colony's defenses. They're coming, he whispered, his heart pounding. I have to get this message out, no matter what. Stealing himself, Pimmerman redoubled his efforts, his fingers dancing across the console as he tried to bypass the Thorian's jamming signals. Just as he was about to give up, the console flickered to life, and a faint signal began to transmit. This is Dr. Pimmerman of the Prometheus Research Team, he said, his voice carrying an urgent tone. The Thorian Dominion has launched a full-scale assault on the human colony, and they are after the Prometheus prototype. I implore the human colonies to send aid immediately. The fate of the galaxy hangs in the balance. Pimmerman's message repeated, the signal growing stronger as he poured more power into the transmission. But just as he was about to send the final burst of data, the door to the relay station burst open, and a squad of Thorian soldiers flooded into the room. There it is, one of the soldiers shouted, his weapon leveled at Pimmerman. Secure the prototype and eliminate the human. Pimmerman's eyes narrowed, and he tightened his grip on the Prometheus prototype. He knew that he couldn't outrun the Thorians, and he refused to let them take the technology he had fought so hard to protect. Over my dead body, he growled his voice filled with a newfound determination. As the Thorian soldiers advanced, Pimmerman reached out with his mind, tapping into the psionic energies that he had witnessed Aaron wield. With a surge of concentration, he unleashed a powerful burst of energy, slamming the Thorian soldiers back and disabling their weapons. The Thorian soldiers staggered, their expressions filled with shock and confusion. Pimmerman seized the opportunity quickly turning back to the console and sending the final burst of data. This is for Aaron and Weston, he whispered, watching as the signal finally broke through the Thorians jamming and streaked out into the void of space. With a grim smile, Pimmerman turned to face the Thorian soldiers, the Prometheus prototype clutched tightly in his arms. He knew that he was likely facing his last moments, but he was determined to make the Thorians pay for their atrocities. As the Thorian soldiers recovered and prepared to attack again, Pimmerman closed his eyes, focusing his mind on the psionic energies of the Prometheus prototype. 
He could feel the power coursing through him, and with a surge of determination, he unleashed a devastating wave of energy, shattering the Thorians' defenses and sending them reeling. The relay station shook with the force of the blast, and Pimmerman braced himself for the inevitable. But as the dust cleared, he realized that the Thorian soldiers were no longer a threat, their bodies lying motionless on the floor. Pimmerman let out a shaky breath, his eyes glistening with tears. It's done, he whispered, his voice trembling. Now, all I can do is pray that the human colonies receive the message in time. With a heavy heart, Pimmerman turned and made his way out of the relay station, the Prometheus prototype still clutched tightly in his arms. He knew that the fate of the galaxy now rested on the shoulders of those who would receive his desperate plea for help. Pimmerman's legs burned with exhaustion as he stumbled through the dense forest. The Prometheus prototype clutched tightly in his arms. Behind him, the sounds of the battle had long since faded, replaced by an oppressive silence that only served to heighten the scientist's sense of dread. He knew that the Thorians would be scouring the planet for him, desperate to recover the precious technology he had fought so hard to protect. The thought of the brave colonists who had sacrificed themselves to buy him time weighed heavily on his mind, fueling his determination to ensure their efforts were not in vain. As Pimmerman pushed onward, he caught a glimpse of a distant settlement, its buildings glimmering in the fading light. Hope surged within him, and he quickened his pace, his heart pounding with a renewed sense of purpose. Please, he whispered, his voice hoarse and strained. Let there be someone there who can help. Stumbling into the settlement, Pimmerman was greeted by a group of wary-eyed inhabitants, their expressions a mix of curiosity and suspicion. He raised his hands, the Prometheus prototype still firmly in his grasp, and called out to them in a voice that trembled with exhaustion and desperation. Please, I need your help, he pleaded. The Thorian Dominion has attacked a human colony, and they're after this technology. I must get it to the authorities before it's too late. The settlers exchanged uncertain glances, their gaze fixed on the strange device Pimmerman carried. But then, a familiar figure emerged from the crowd, his eyes widening with recognition. Dr. Pimmerman? the man exclaimed, his voice filled with disbelief. What in the progenitor's name are you doing here? Pimmerman's heart soared with relief as he recognized the face of Admiral Grayson, a renowned Federation officer he had worked with on past projects. Without hesitation, he rushed forward, his words spilling out in a frantic torrent. Admiral, thank the stars I've found you, Pimmerman gasped, his grip tightening on the Prometheus prototype. The Thorians have attacked the Prometheus research facility, and they're after this technology. I barely escaped with my life, and now I need your help to get this to the Federation authorities before the Thorians can get their hands on it. Grayson's expression hardened and he quickly ushered Pimmerman into a nearby building, his eyes sweeping the area for any signs of pursuit. You're in luck, doctor, the admiral said, his voice grim. My fleet was just passing through on a routine patrol when we received your distress signal. We've been monitoring the situation, and we know the Thorians have been making a push towards this sector. Pimmerman's eyes widened with renewed hope. Then you can help me get this prototype to safety. Grayson nodded his gaze fixed on the Prometheus device. We'll do more than that, Pimmerman. We're going to take the fight to the Thorians and put an end to their aggression once and for all. With a flurry of activity, Grayson assembled a team of Federation officers, each one armed and ready for the impending battle. Pimmerman watched in awe as the seasoned veterans prepared their weapons and coordinated their strategies, a newfound sense of confidence surging within him. As the Federation ships launched into the sky, Pimmerman clutched the Prometheus prototype close, his mind racing with the implications of what they were about to do. He knew that the fate of the human colonies, and perhaps even the entire galaxy, hung in the balance. Aaron, Weston, your sacrifice will not be forgotten, Pimmerman murmured, his eyes glistening with determination. The Thorians will pay for their crimes, and the Prometheus technology will be used to protect the innocent, not to enslave them. The battle that followed was a blur of blinding energy beams and thunderous explosions, as the Federation forces engaged the Thorian invaders in a desperate bid to regain control of the sector. Pimmerman watched from the bridge of Grayson's ship, the Prometheus prototype cradled in his arms, his heart pounding with a mix of fear and hope. As the dust settled, Pimmerman emerged from the relative safety of the ship, 
his eyes sweeping across the devastated battlefield. The Thorian forces had been routed, their ships crippled, and their ranks decimated by the Federation's relentless assault. Grayson strode up to Pimmerman, his expression grim but triumphant. We did it, Doctor, he said, his voice tinged with a hint of relief. The Prometheus technology is safe, and the Thorians have been driven back. Now, let's get this prototype to the Federation authorities and put an end to this threat for good. Pimmerman nodded, his grip on the device tightening as he followed the Admiral, his heart heavy with the weight of the sacrifices that had been made to reach this point. But as he gazed out at the stars, he knew that the legacy of Aaron, Weston, and the countless others would live on, their bravery and dedication a shining beacon of hope in the face of the Thorian's darkness. The Grand Federation Council Chamber was filled with an air of anticipation as Pimmerman stepped forward, the Prometheus prototype cradled in his arms. All eyes were fixed on the unassuming device, its secrets closely guarded after the harrowing events that had unfolded. Beside him, Admiral Grayson stood tall, his expression solemn as he addressed the assembled council members. Esteemed representatives, we have gathered here today to present the findings of the Prometheus Project and to discuss the implications of the technology it has uncovered. Pimmerman took a deep breath, his mind racing as he reflected on the journey that had brought him to this moment. The loss of Aaron and the brave colonists weighed heavily on his heart, a constant reminder of the sacrifices that had been made to safeguard this precious knowledge. The Prometheus prototype, he began, his voice steady despite the gravity of the situation, is not merely a technological marvel, but a window into the very origins of humanity itself. Through our research, we have uncovered evidence that suggests the progenitors, an ancient alien civilization, may have been responsible for seeding the human race across the cosmos. A ripple of murmurs swept through the chamber, and Pimmerman raised a hand, silencing the crowd. This discovery has profound implications, not just for our understanding of our own history, but for the way we perceive our role in the galaxy. The progenitors were a highly advanced species, and the Prometheus technology they left behind holds the key to unlocking the latent potential within the human genome. Grayson stepped forward, his gaze sweeping across the council members. That is why we are here today. The Thorian Dominion, in their quest for power and domination, have sought to seize control of the Prometheus technology, understanding its potential as a weapon of unimaginable power. Their attack on the research facility and the brave colonists who defended it was a testament to their determination to possess this technology at all costs. The Admiral paused, his expression hardening. But we, the Federation, cannot allow the Thorians to exploit the Prometheus technology for their own nefarious purposes. We must take action to safeguard this knowledge and to ensure that it is used for the betterment of all sentient species, not for the subjugation of the weak by the strong. Pemmerman nodded, his grip tightening on the prototype. To that end, we propose the creation of a new initiative, one that will harness the power of the Prometheus technology to benefit humanity and our allies in the galaxy. We call it the Progenitor's Legacy, a program dedicated to unlocking the full potential of the human species and using that power to defend the innocent and maintain the delicate balance of the cosmos. The council members exchanged thoughtful glances the gravity of the proposal weighing heavily on their minds. Finally, the chief counselor, a venerable alien statesman, rose to his feet, his voice resonant and commanding. Dr. Pimmerman, Admiral Grayson, the council has heard your proposal, and we are convinced of the urgency and importance of your request. The Prometheus technology and the revelations you have uncovered regarding the progenitors are indeed a game-changer for the entire galaxy. He paused his gaze sweeping across the assembled representatives. Therefore, it is the decision of this council to authorize the creation of the Progenitor's Legacy Initiative, with Aaron and the brave colonists who sacrificed themselves to protect this knowledge as its foundation. We will provide the resources and support necessary to ensure that this program succeeds in its mission to safeguard humanity and the greater galactic community. A ripple of applause echoed through the chamber, and Pimmerman felt a weight lift from his shoulders. The sacrifices of Aaron, Weston, and the others had not been in vain, and the legacy of the Prometheus Project would live on, shaping the course of the galaxy for generations to come. As Pimmerman stepped back, his eyes glistening with unshed tears, he knew that the journey was far from over. The Thorian threat still loomed, 
and the secrets of the progenitors were yet to be fully unraveled. But with the backing of the Federation and the resolve of the progenitor's legacy, he was confident that the human spirit would rise to meet the challenges that lay ahead. For you, my friends, he whispered, his gaze fixed on the Prometheus prototype, and for the future of us all. Years had passed since the harrowing events that had unfolded on the remote colony world, but the legacy of the Prometheus project remained a beacon of hope in the ever-changing tapestry of the galaxy. Aaron's sacrifice had not been forgotten, and the progenitor's legacy initiative he had helped inspire had grown into a formidable force, dedicated to the protection and advancement of humanity and its allies. Under the guidance of Dr. Pimmerman and the unwavering support of the Federation, the program had become a shining example of the power of human ingenuity and resilience. Now, as Pimmerman gazed out at the bustling hub of the progenitor's legacy headquarters, he couldn't help but feel a sense of pride and nostalgia. The once small outpost had blossomed into a sprawling complex, housing some of the brightest minds in the galaxy, all of them driven by a common purpose, to unlock the secrets of the progenitors and to use that knowledge to safeguard the future. Pimmerman's thoughts were interrupted by the arrival of a young officer, his eyes shining with a mix of excitement and trepidation. Dr. Pimmerman, sir, the officer began, his voice betraying a hint of nervousness. We've just received a distress call from a remote colony on the Outer Rim. It appears they're under attack by a rogue faction of the Thorian Dominion, and they're requesting immediate assistance. Pimmerman's brow furrowed, the familiar tension of past battles creeping back into his muscles. The Thorian threat, though diminished, had never truly been extinguished, and he knew that the progenitor's legacy would be called upon time and again to defend the innocent against their aggression. Gather the best of our operatives, he said his voice firm and resolute. We'll need to move quickly if we're going to have any chance of turning the tide. Within minutes, a team of highly trained specialists had assembled, each one equipped with the latest in progenitor-derived technology. Pimmerman watched as they boarded the sleek, state-of-the-art transport, their faces etched with a determination that mirrored his own. As the ship lifted off, Pimmerman allowed himself a moment of reflection, his gaze drifting to the Prometheus prototype that still occupied a place of honor in the progenitor's legacy headquarters. The device, a symbol of both the power and the responsibility that had been entrusted to them, had become the centerpiece of their efforts, guiding their every decision and shaping the course of their work. Aaron, Weston, Pimmerman murmured, his voice tinged with a bittersweet sorrow. I hope you can see the impact your sacrifice has had on the galaxy. The progenitor's legacy stands as a testament to your courage, and we will continue to fight in your name, no matter the cost. With a deep breath, Pimmerman turned his attention back to the present, his mind already racing with the strategies and contingencies that would be needed to confront the Thorian threat. He knew that the mission ahead would be fraught with peril, but he also knew that the progenitor's legacy was more than capable of rising to the challenge. As the transport pierced the void of space, Pimmerman watched the stars streaking by, his thoughts drifting to the countless lives that had been shaped by the Prometheus Project. From the humble beginnings on that remote colony world to the vast, interconnected network of researchers and operatives that now span the galaxy, the legacy of their efforts had grown into something truly remarkable. And at the heart of it all was the Prometheus Prototype, a conduit to the secrets of the progenitors and a symbol of the human spirit's boundless potential. Pimmerman knew that as long as the progenitor's legacy endured, the power and wisdom of those ancient beings would continue to guide and inspire the generations to come, shaping the course of the galaxy and safeguarding the future of all sentient life. With a renewed sense of purpose, Pimmerman steeled himself for the challenges that lay ahead, his mind focused on the task at hand. The Thorians would not prevail, not as long as the progenitor's legacy stood as a bulwark against their ambitions. And in the end, the legacy of Aaron, Weston, and all the others who had given their lives to protect this precious knowledge would live on, inspiring generations of heroes to rise up and meet the challenges of the cosmos.